Hey guys, this video is kind of like spur of the moment, but just kind of telling you guys why I haven't posted as often. Um, I've just been not, like, not doing good physically, like, whatsoever. Um, I was admitted to the hospital for a day, um, a few weeks ago because of my POTS, because my blood pressure got down to, like, 74 over, like, 40. And obviously my heart rate was like 130, you know, like the usual. Um, it has gotten a little better, but like since in general, since like I was diagnosed and they put me on the medication, but they upped my meditation, medication, sorry. I take Coralinor, I take seven milligrams now, morning, no, I take 7.5 milligrams now, morning and night. And that is the highest dose you can go. So we're hoping it works. I'm waiting for a heart monitor, monitor in the mail that I have to wear for a couple weeks. Just to make sure that it's not making my heart rate too low. It never has. I don't think it's going to. But that's just an extra, extra precaution that they want to do. Um, the last time I had a heart monitor, the lowest my heart rate got was 110. And about the highest it got was like 180. So I'm hopefully it'll be a little lower than that. Um, so yeah, I'll put some pictures in when I was admitted to the hospital. Another thing that's been bad is my thumb, this thumb. It was really hurting for like a good four weeks and it was swollen too, but I had not injured it at all. Like I didn't remember doing anything. I had no suspicion that I did anything. It just started hurting randomly and swelling. So we went to the oncologist and they did like an x-ray and they were like, it's not broken. It like looks like it could have been fractured, but like we don't really know. And, um, so I just wore a splint for three weeks until I went to see them. And when I went to see them, it was not better. It was still swollen. Basically, the splint didn't do anything. Honestly, it made it worse when I took it off because it was, like, cramped from, like, being straight for so long. But, the doctor recommended that... We have some blood taken for rheumatological things. I think like immunodeficiencies because like rheumatoid arthritis would be like a reason that like my thumb is like so swollen and I don't really know the science behind that but I did some research and like immuno deficiencies are like common in POTS. Um, a lot of time POTS symptoms can correlate with them. So like I read that 20% of POTS patients like have one which is like kind of crazy. So I went to my a mini like children's hospital and they took five vials of blood. I think two were from my cardiologist that had been ordered and then three of three of them were for um the immune autoimmune i don't know i really like don't know guys thing and the blood work came back like they said it was fine but they still wanted me to go to a rheumatologist which i was like that's kind of weird you know and then like today i started um cardio car cardio today i started cardiac rehab and that 
was an interesting experiment experience I had to wear a heart monitor the whole time and before we did anything like she was like going through my medical history and I had all of my like diagnoses um on the side and like one of them said like under immune it said like immunodeficiency like type a or something and I was like that's really weird like they said the blood was fine like that can't be anything else like I talked to my mom about it so yeah, I guess maybe they, like, looked at it again or just found something, like, something was off, but they didn't really know what. Um, so, so that's basically what happened. So my thumb hurts. My joints have been hurting a lot. Um, I'm a very stretchy person. So I kept like blocking my knees and my elbows today during the cardiac rehab, so that was kind of hard. And now I think I'm getting sick. Uh, my temperature is like 99.3, low grade fever, and like this, my right side of my throat hurts, and like my glands are swollen and it hurts to touch them. So yeah, I'm not doing so hot at the moment, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know, give you a health update, and I will update you soon if anything changes. Okay, I love you guys. Bye.